Well, I was just for those everyone probably should know. People should know by now. I was just taking a moment of silence. Now, the start of this year, we lost a we lost a couple of good actors, like um, well, the actors that I know of, like uh, Miguel Ferrer, John Hurt. This one is as actor I grew up. I grew up with a lot of most of the films, a lot of films, like especially from the '90s that I watched, and but uh, which is kind of ironic, really enough, because which I'll say that yeah, this is this is another unexpected punch in the stomach for one, another one for me. I know that people are nobin out, but uh, the, the sad passing of Bill Paxton died at the age of sixty-one. They said they had like uh, he was like complications of um, he was surgery, something like I think it was a heart or something. Then he had like a stroke and all that, and during like during surgery and I don't know, it was it was it was, it was complications during during surgery he was having, and and he just and he died from it. I enjoyed Bill Paxton growing up, and just just watching the films that he that he starred, and even when he had even when he had supporting roles, I I enjoyed Bill Bill Paxton. He was just, he was just one of those actors, you know, just that he had to have, have like because you know, every everyone has like a unique type of style or something like that. It was just, it was just another something with Bill Paxton that he, I just enjoyed about him. And just it just it just t totally sucks. <sighs> Actually, what well, I I would not have found out if my uh, I would not have found out if my my my, uh, my dad told me. And I was like, no, no, that no no, but of course it's true. <sighs> I just. I know the thing is that you, you can expect the unexpected. I know all that, and that's the way life is. I I get all that, but it's just someone. This is when it's just something you just enjoy watching, and just it just really sucks. It just is one. It does one of the actors like for me is just you know, and it's with clear from one. I, I would say that Bill Pax is like go uh, like a list of like unexpected passions that I just was like most well I'll say most harm done most harm to me but I'm saying that is it was unexpected when I think that the, it reminds me of unex, how unexpected like Robin Williams or Roddy Piper passed away those are the ones I just it was just heartbreaking to me yeah like, it was unexpected like Roddy Piper or Robin Williams but just Bill Paxton, I just couldn't believe that. When I when I expect the, the next one to go is to be Bill Paxton, great actor. I just I just loved him growing up. Uh, but everyone knows that probably for all the main the main roles he star. And actually, well, one second here. I have I do have some film I do have have some films here just to show what films that I enjoyed him in. And even especially from from one of his, especially from his early roles like the Terminator, the beginning of the film, him one of those punks saying, you know, when Arnold shows first shows up and says, Fuck you, asshole. And you know, which we later find out later that Arnold used that same line when that guy is knocking on his door saying, Oh, rent or whatever. Um and of course, it was this, it was a thing that he would collab with James Cam director James Cameron, and, uh, other other films of his, which I know that the thing they were they were really, they were really uh, good friends. Bill Pax and James Cameron, because he starred in this film, uh, Terminator, then in nine, then in ninety four, True Lies, and then one other one, which I have to get another one. Okay, hold on a second. And right here. This 
which this is the whole the whole box of all four films, but I'm just holding because I would say one of my favorite roles from for Bill Paxton is playing Private Hudson from Aliens. Just I just and especially and just I don't know, just well, some of the bio I enjoy about Aliens and because Aliens consider one of the Consider one of the best, uh, well, not, so not only consider one of the best sequels ever, but just uh, one of the best films of all time, I would say, at least in my opinion. Love Aliens. And then, of course, uh, ironically, later, he was started in this one, I would say, is a very underrated sequel. I love this sequel to death, which he played the character Jer Jerry. <laughs> You know, with he's a he has like the, he's like the funny cop, and he's like, hey, this is it's my specialty and all that. And him, he went out like a badass. You know, he keeps on shooting the predator on that subway train, and then he gets it like a machete. And he's like, come on, motherfucker, let's dance! Ah, went out like a badass, even though and cost him getting his spine and skull ripped out. Um, yeah, which of course it's ironic, ironic because he would start in. Two sequels to a franchise that would become for you know A B you know Alien vs Predator, but uh but James third with one with James Cameron so Aliens True Lies The Terminator and of course I would later start and um also with James Cameron Titanic the guy um forget the guy's name though just who was searching for that diamond that Kate Woodsley was wearing. And other films, which this one, I would say he did a, it was the first one he directed, and I, he did a great job directing this film, I enjoy this film, and it's all, but not only, he, he not only directed, but he starred in as well with, um, Matthew McConaughey, Frailty, I thought it was a really good, not only a thriller, but I also put, I put this in the, in the horror film, in the horror genre, that's why I put it in, just has that vibe, not, not because of a thriller, but has that, gives that, atmosphere to it and it's also produced by David also uh, one of the producers David Kirshner who helped do on the Chucky films and also can you know, also uh, not only because of Bill Paxton also Pat Matthew Bicani, he also got Powers Booth in this as well Bill Paxton for, for the first film he did a great job directing this film and then even at the next film he directed with that, that golf film with Shia LaBeouf called The Greatest Game Ever Played which I have not seen though but Maybe we'll give it a watch because Bill Paxson directed it. Because he did a great job with this film, so I'll eventually we'll give that a look. Then, once again, um, well, that was 2001, Frailty. Um, but the year before that, though, 2000, he starred with Matthew McConaughey in this film, which I, I like. U571. The guy who directed the third Terminator film and Breakdown. I'll star in um, uh, uh, Harvey Keitel and John Bon Jovi, really enough. But uh, uh, this film, uh, it's a good one, I will say. Um, U571. Then, of course, I would say one of one of Ron, one of Ron Howard's best films, um, Apollo 13. I I highly enjoy Apollo 13. Starring with Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, him, Bill Paxton, who also said him, Gary Sinise and Ed Harris. One of Ron Howard's best films. Probably what probably a lot of people will say is one of his best films, Apollo 13. It was one of the popular space films from the 90s. Well, at the time, one of the best. But, um, all those other roles, you know, from Aliens, Apollo 13... There's one particular film which I reviewed twice last year for the 20th anniversary revisit review. I would say it's, about, it's my all-time favorite film from, with Bill Paxton. As much as I love him in Aliens, I would say for favorite role-wise, Aliens would be a very close second as Hudson. But this one I grew up the most watching with Bill Paxton, Twister. I love this film. I've already viewed this film twice, but I said last year I did a revisit for its 20th anniversary movie review. You can check that out still. This is my favorite. This is my favorite film with with Bill Paxton. I, this is the one I watched the most growing up. With all the other ones, this is the one I watched the most with Bill Paxton. Love this film. Great film with from the second best film with Jan de, directed by Jan de Bont, behind Speed, but. 
um, Steven Spielberg helped produce it, and um, uh, written by Michael Crichton, and produced by Michael Crichton. Great, he was great in this film. With co-starring with Helen Hunt and also the late Phil, Phil Seymour Hoffman, Carrie Elwes. Great effects. Still really great effects. It's not dated at all. One, I would say one of the best uh, film. I would say you know, it's the best film with with tornadoes in it because if it was sci-fi, it would be very very shitty. But this is obviously the best film with tornadoes because it's not made that film. I like Into the Storm. That was a film though from 2014, but this is the best one right here. And Michael Battle Bill Paxton. <laughs> it's fun. It's just funny that you now there's some some of the few, some of the lines I liked with him. You know when the when they're driving from the tornado and it's picking up all these tractors and it's dropping and Helen Hunt saying, "Debris, we got debris." And he's like, "Debris." <laughs> or when our house is rolling on the road, he's like, "Oh no, I think we're going in." This is the, 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 the this is, I just I just I just love this film. I just enjoyed Bill, pa Bill Paxton a lot. It's the yeah, other ones I grew up with with all the, with all the films that he starred in the, in roles. This is the film I watched the most of them, and I just love this film. This is also my favorite film with Bill Paxton. But him playing Hudson from Aliens, I love Aliens to Death. Second favorite role with the Bill Paxton. Probably I'll say my third favorite. I would probably say. I'll probably say Apollo 13, because I, I enjoy this film a lot. So, yeah. And there's other films I don't have, though, but I want to pick them up, though. One is another one that um, I had on old VHS, but no longer have it. Uh, he all starred in Mighty Joe Young, which I like. It was, a, it was a huge flop, though, but I liked it. He was also in Tombstone. I have Tombstone, but I just didn't feel like taking that one off, where he played the brother to Wyatt Earp that Kurt Russell played. Um, he was a Navy SEALs. I, I he, of course, all know a uh, uh, role they he's also memorable playing in Weird Science. How, how can I forget that? Where he was one of the was one who turned into a huge big pile of crap. You know, I was like, oh please, turn me back. <laughs> that was that was a funny film. I, I enjoy Weird Science. That's another one I had to pick up on DVD as well. So many films, you know, so so many choices you still have to get on, but still expanding the collection still. Um, he was also in uh, Near uh, 87, after he did Aliens, he did Near Dark, which I haven't seen in forever, but I remember liking it. 2000, he all started uh, Vertical Lim Limit. I think I don't recall watching that film. Maybe it was... Maybe it was yeah, I think I don't remember recall having one about to pick that one up too. I know he was in I know I know he was in Spy Kids two and three. He was not the problem. It's just I just I'd never cared for the Spy Kids films at all. He was in uh, other films from the nineties. He was in um he was in A Simple Plan, Traveler, other one other ones, Slipstream. Those are the films. I don't have every single one of his films, but I have to get some more of them. Um, but in the 2000s, um, he just started in Thunderbirds, which Thunderbirds I did not like. I, him and Ben Kingsley, I did not care for Thunderbirds. Um, then the, the, in 2005, the one he directed was The Greatest Game Ever Played with Shia LaBeouf, which I have not seen. Haywire, I've heard the film, but I've heard terrible things about it, so I don't bother watching. But I think he has like, a minor role in it, or supporting then he was in the colony. I think that was one with Lawrence Fishburne. I can't remember because I think I remember a long time ago. I saw it and it was that forgettable. I've, but I've heard, yeah, but I'm sure that's the one with Lawrence Fishburne. Then he was in Two Guns with uh, Denzel Washington, and Mark Wahlberg. But then he started. He started. He, he had a supporting role in a film that I really did enjoy. And that was with Tom Cruise. And that was Edge of Tomorrow. I love Edge of Tomorrow. That was a great. That was a great film. He was in that the the, the he was the major sergeant, uh, Farrell. I I love Edge Edge Tomorrow. That was a great movie. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's over there. I forgot to take that one out though. But still, then he was in he was in he, uh, he was in a little role in Nightcrawler. I have not seen Nightcrawler, but I've heard good things about because I like Jake Gyllenhaal. 
and he was in this direct he was in this directed video film called Term Life. I I have I have the DVD. I never got around to watch it because like, it stars Vince Vaughn. It's like a a thriller film that that Vince Vaughn is like he's a I think he's a cop. But he has to protect his daughter. And the thing that Bill Paxton, I think also including Terrence Howard's in it, um, they're like dirty cops. I think I haven't got around to watch, but I, I do have it though. But I got it because it intrigued me because it have because of his cast and even though it was a direct video film like Vince Vaughn and a cop, uh, thriller film like that. So, I'll have to get that a look, though, but, yeah. And then the last, the last film that he, I did see a trailer to, I c got kind of interested in it. Um, it's called, the, the last film was doing, comes out in April, called The Circle. It stars Emma Watson, you know, from Harry Potter, and Tom Hanks. Um, I think that, that um, in the trailer, uh, Bill Paxton will pl plays Emma Watson's, Emma Watson's father. And... When I saw the trailer, um, the little interest I, I picked about it, not because of that, but um, I think it's that Bill, uh, uh, Tom Hanks um, is like kind of like a bad guy in a way, because because M. Watson joins this uh, this uh, thing, it's like an internet thing called the Circle, and like she's like being constantly watched from cameras and every angle, and uh, and Tom Hanks is watch is just watching. Even John Boy Boyega from Star Wars: The Force Awakens as the character Finn, the stormtrooper, he's also in this as well. He was one of the he was one of like the you know, one of the good things that I liked with The Force Awakens was John Boyega. But I got my uh, a little interest because uh, not only because uh, the I think because maybe because Tom Hanks is kind of like a bad guy. I don't think I've hardly seen him play like kind of a bad guy before, so that got my interest a little bit. And now. And I'll see it, and not only because now I know that this will be the last film for Bill Paxton, so I'll give a look for that as well. But just the other films that I have not, I don't have yet, and I'm. But I'll have to get, I'll have to get them just to give them a watch, to give them a watch, because you know. But all these, but the, all these films I just named, probably the ones that are most memorable for him that he starred in. And also, I found just um, where I said he was close friends with James, with uh, James Cameron. I just I found I was looking up on um, where I get my I uh, you know I go on the movie news you know I, on vlogs and stuff like that where a lot of times I look up on Cin cinema cinema blend that show, that um, site and there was the one after that he used to said the James Cameron said something on uh, about about the death of Bill Paxton so I'm just reading it right here um, and it's an I think it's a pretty uh, good um pretty good pretty good what what James Cameron said. So reading it says right here. It says I've been I've been reeling from his uh, past, uh, from this from the past half hour, trying to wrap my he my mind and heart around it. Bill leaves such a void. He and I were close friends for 36 years. Yeah, they were. So they were close. They were close friends since we met on a set of a Roger Corman ultra low budget film. And. He came. He came to work on set, and I slapped a paintbrush in his hand and pointed it to a wall, and saying, "Paint that." Um. We quickly recognized the creative spark in each other and became fast friends. We followed what was 36 years of making films together, helping to develop each other's projects, going scuba diving trips together, watching each other's kids growing up, and. Even diving, even diving the Titanic wreck together in Russian subs, it was a friendship of laughter, adventure, love of cinema, a mutual respect. Bill wrote beautiful, heartfelt, and thoughtful letters, and an anchor, an anchor. I can't pronounce that word. An anchor, alcoholism. I can't pronounce that word. Um, in this age of digital shorthand, he took good care of his. Of his relationships with people, always caring and pres present for others. He was a good man, a great actor, and a creative dynamo. I hope that amid the amid the uh, the guardian din of I can't pronounce the word either din of Oscar Nye, people will take a moment to remember his one this wonderful man. Not just for all hours of joy he brought to us, but his vivid screen presence. But for a great human that he was. So yeah, and it did, and I can I can see the the presence on the screen because 
like I said, like like I said, just the way you know, because every person has a unique style when they're on screen. There was something. There was something about Bill Paxton. He was like there was like there's there's he has the which is the way he the how the way he did in the films, and and it did it did seem like he was a very nice guy and a caring guy because. I see that he had to say that he was he was like married for like thirty years and he has two kids and I my give my sincere condolences for his family and all that and blessed him to spend time with James Cameron together doing all of the fun stuff they said and what all what um, James Cameron describes but what Bill Paxton I can really uh, understand that. It just sucks, you know. This way, so the good is always the good, the nice, the good heart and kind people has to go and all that. It just totally sucks. So, but that's but I and even for the television work that he that he did, um, um, he was uh, I'm also saw he was in Hatfields McCoy, which I have the miniseries him with. Uh, I thought he was really good with, with um as McCoy and um. Hatfield, played by uh, Kevin Costner. I think I like the miniseries. Um, people say it's like a, I like a slow miniseries, but I like it. It's especially it's got two good leads, like Kevin Costner and Bill Paxton in it. Um, and then he was uh, he was also in a, uh, episodes of Agents of Shield, which he was he, his character. He was supposed to be like on the on the side with um um Colson, uh, Colson Agent Colson. But then it turns out he's a turncoat. He's, I was actually a member of Hydra, and uh, and over the, the last thing he's the last for a TV show he's been doing was the uh, Training Day, which was based on the, the 2001 movie with Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. He's he's the lead star in it, and, and um, they said that the he completed like all like all the episodes just before he pa just before he passed. So. If it, if it ends up all one season with him in it, though, I don't think sure they're not gonna do another season after that. Training day after you watch again, though. But um, for for Bill Paxton, I'll give the show a look, see how he does, and like the last of it, you know. And it's kind of funny because the last thing that, who well, also uh, before the after like the show was completed before the person died, which which was the Beast, and that was Patrick Swayze. Like he completed that show before he before he passed, and that series ended because of that. And I miss Patrick Swayze a lot too. It's just just the way how just seeing the show, the show, just how the way he looked, I could tell he was not all right there because I think he was he was a smoker, and just how the way he looked, I could tell he was the way how the way he looked, I could tell he was not the way he, right, you know. And that totally sucks with Pat because I I liked Patrick Swayze a lot. So I feel like the same. Well, I'm sure. Uh, well, the Pat, Bill Paxton, not the age difference though, but I've seen the completed series before they passed. That was Bill, uh, Bill uh, Patrick Swayze for the that show of the Beast. And the same thing for this for Bill Paxton. And it just to it just totally sucks. So yeah, all these films that I say, I just will always will even the ones I don't have and mention, they'll remain in in, in great memory of him. And other well, there are films I had those I just show I'll probably have a review, but I'll give them a review. This the franchise and aliens, um, and the Terminator films. I'll review those and Predators and as, as well. I just have so I just have a lot going on. Just, just so I'll get just so I'll get to them eventually. So, but I will eventually I will get to them. But I just have I just have a lot going on. Just. I just have to do the one, the one, some things at a time. So, but after this though, I will because um get to like the winners of the Razzies that will be uploaded next. But I just want to give it's much much more longer of this than I usually do because I love Bill Paxton and just I just want to give it much more longer than I usually do for the actors who have passed away videos that I do that I usually do. I mean, we lost Miguel Ferrer, we lost John Hurt, which is kind of ironic. Which I what I said at the beginning is that. John Hurd and Bill Paxton, they were they were, co they were stars in in the Alien franchise. Like John Hurd was in the first film, and now Bill Paxton in the second one. So we lost another member of the Alien franchise. It's kind of I find kinda, another thing I kind of find weird and ironic. Like last year, 
the director of um I forgot the guy's name um of See No Evil, Hear No Evil with Gene Wilder, and then sometime shortly after that, Gene Wilder passed away. So the director of a film that Gene Wilder starred in, shortly after that, Gene Wilder passed away. And I know that the same with Carrie, with Carrie Fisher at the, at the end of the year, and then shortly after her mother passed. But just saying, like this year we lost a, a, a star in the Alien, the first Alien, now the star of a second Alien film passed away. It's kind of, I just kind of find that weird of those type of scenarios. But yeah, so I'll just all end it here. I don't go too long on this, but as I said, all these other films will remain in his memory. I'll always forever miss Bill Paxton. He's one that I wreck up with the loss of with Robin Williams and uh, Roddy Piper, other ones that I just really miss and just, it just totally sucks. That was like another unexpected punch in the stomach for me that I just, shocked me so I know I know but I know it was a big shock for everybody but I would just say just a little teary-eyed right there but still this is that's just how much I like Bill Paxton it just sands me but anyway, I'll just stop here otherwise I'm just gonna go burst out but anyway, the next up, the but the next video I'll be uploading is the winners of the Razzies just to continue. I was gonna do that first, but until this I heard about, it, I'm gonna do that. So that'll be uploaded next. So but once again, rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Always films you started in, great actor, great guy. Always remember remain, films of yours will always remain mem remain in memory, especially mine as well. And then. Just as it just, just totally sucks overall. But I know it'll, it'll be the same for every for anybody who passed away. I know that though, but still, that's the way life is. And I get all that. But anyway, that's, I'll stop here now. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned on the on with the next for the next video of the winners of the Razzies. And once again, rest in peace, Bill Paxton. You'll be truly missed, but you will not never be forgotten. Later.